Good morning, CNS. Today is Monday, October 17th, and it's a B day. I'm Poe Porter. And I'm Emma Hall. Good morning, everyone. We'll be right back after this. Um, hi, how can we help you today? Welcome to the, say it, welcome to the star shop. Um, uh, yeah. Um, okay. what, what can we do you with today, sir? Oh, oh, you want the boo basket? Okay, um, this is kind of our thing here. Or what, what, what do you want in your boo basket, please? I want to live, um, just please do it quickly, please. Oh, he, he wants a slap oh, bracelet. Oh, it's just a slap bracelet. Okay, a <laughs> one, one dollar. I see it. You're such a great, such a great customer. Why don't we give it to you for free, sir? We've changed our minds. You have a great day. Make sure to review us on Yelp. Okay. Tell tell your friend. Do you have friends? No, I don't want to know. Make sure you visit the Star Shop today with Halloween goodies so cool that Michael Myers had to invest. Check out our boo bags all this month, our latest fun and, no pun intended, killer deal. Calling track, all track and field athletes, indoor track is around the corner and Family ID opens today. Please make sure you get your physicals and Family ID completed so you can be eligible to run, jump, or throw this upcoming season. All students interested in anime, please go to room 116 after school on Wednesday for Anime Club. They meet the first and third Wednesday of every month. The first CNS Business Club meeting will be held tomorrow in the LGI across from the library for all interested students. The Career Center is sponsoring a virtual presentation on the career of being a lineman tomorrow at 12 p.m. in the Career Center. Companies that hire linemen are Verizon, National Grid, AT&T, and the government, just to name a few. Students can get a pass from Ms. Deaver in the Career Center. Are you interested in the medical field? Upstate U Medical University is hosting a virtual information session beginning this month on a variety of careers like physical therapy, ultrasound tech, respiratory therapy, getting into medical school, and more. Go to the Career Center website and complete the schedule and information. Registration information. Seniors, the Career Center is sponsoring a trip to OCC's Open House on Friday, October 28th from 8.30 to 1. Permission slips are in the Career Center. Space is limited, so first come, first serve. There are still spots available for the Career Exploration Assessment begin being given tomorrow or Wednesday this week. See Ms. Deaver in the Career Center or email her at edeaver at nscsd.org. Yeah. The Job Shadow Program begins... begins the Job Shadow Program begins today and will run through April. Interested in a specific career? Wants to learn more about it from a professional perspective? Stop in the Career Center for the paperwork. You should do one of those. I did it last year. It was fun. Ooh. Physicals will be offered in the Health Office on November 10th. The Health History form may be picked up in the Health Office or printed from the CNS Nurses Office webpage. The Health History aside must be completed and signed then you must sign up in the health office by November 9th or you will not be able to have a physical. And now here's Sports with Pat. The sectional lineup is set for field hockey and soccer as the brackets were released yesterday. The boys soccer hosts their first sectional matchup against Beeville K this Wednesday. Kickoff is at 7 in Michael J. Bragman Stadium. Come out and support. Girls soccer plays next Wednesday at home after only six teams qualified. Good luck girls. Field hockey is playing in the semifinals on set Sunday against the winner of the game between Liverpool and FM. Pop out to support the girls this weekend. 
On Saturday, the boys volleyball team swept Penfield, but the boys lost a tight game to Shen in five sets. The boys travel to Liverpool, Liverpool tonight as they look to remain the first seed in first sectionals. On Saturday, the Syracuse Orange took on the NC State Wolfpack and defeated them 24-9 to in the JMI Wireless Dome. The Orange increased the, their record to 6-0. They are now bowl eligible. Last night, the NFL in the NFL, the Philadelphia Eagles played the Dallas Cowboys in a rivalry match. The Eagles ended up winning the game 26 to 17, keeping their record 6 and 0, still undefeated. While the Cowboys dropped to 4 and 2. That's all for sports. Back over to you. Thanks, Pat. For lunch today, there will be chicken and cheese quesadillas, seasoned corn, refried beans, and juice. <laughs> I did it. That's all from the CNS Morning. Oh. <laughs> That's all from the CNS Morning Show. I'm Poe Porter. <laughs> and I'm a hug. Uh, have a great day. I know I won't. <laughs>